Loki! Loki! Hey, hey, hey! It's your guy. Yo, dude. Hey. I'm in this bitch. But real shit, though. So, look. That's the title. We're gonna be doing How to Make Your Mind Up. How to... How... You, did, did you see it? Maybe I'm just in my own imagination. I, like, when I said How to Make Your Mind Up, like, it, it popped up for me. It was like, How to Make Your Mind Up. <laughs> I'm funny as fuck. I don't care, no fuck. I feel funny. But, look. So we're going to do this, you know, we're going to get it, we're going to get it, we're going to get it just like this, though. So, like, when it comes to making up your mind, I'm just going to give, you know, some of my pointers. If you got any pointers, you can let me know, you know, you can let me know if, if you, or if this helps you, you can let me know. Like, other, other than that, though, let's get into it. Identify the decision. So, if you're going to make a decision. Know what decision that you are about to commit to. Okay? Now that you know what decision that you are going to commit to, make sure you have all the information you need to make this, you know, happen for real. Like, for me, like make sure, you know, you are well informed about what path you're going down. Make sure you know you if all right, so say you are a person. If you enter lizards, make sure you know all about lizards. Okay, that's just for example. We're making your mind up. If you're gonna go with a decision on, you know, being somebody, make sure you know what kind of somebody you wanna be. I say that you know yourself, the person in the mirror. But for real. So make a Decision, like know the decision that you make it. Make sure it's clear. This is decision that you you know you need to you, you know you gonna make, and you gonna put effort into doing it. And this will this this gonna help you put effort into it. You knowing like you more you're the most informed person about that topic about that subject. Okay. Now two, gather inf like back to it. Gather information. Collect information from. Reliable situa sources to help you make an informed decision. So, make make decisions from people. I mean, get your information from people who's in the shoes that you that you're trying to go. Don't be you know um, taking advice from people who see you always and they don't see you know the shine and the the star in you. They just see the uh, the person that they they see walk to the bathroom every day or. They hear hear pissing or farting or something like they don't see you for you. They see you as whatever they have in their head of you. But you know, go up to a person or go to a place where you can get the information that you need to make that decision. Get all the reliable information. Like what a source is, it's basically a person. Like I'm not talking about no website source. I'm talking about a source like you can go to a person who is already in the shoes of where you want to go you can get what they what they've been through what they what they learned along the way it's it, it's gonna help a little but it's not gonna be the same way if you you know mo learning how to walk when you was a baby it's not gonna be the same way as like how when you learned how to walk you was by yourself walking so it, it's like if you do want to know take in some of they they intake then you can use that to you know make make you know be aware of what is to come you and you probably talk to somebody who i don't know if y'all ever talked to no millionaires but i know i have so i've talked to them and they said it was a bunch of times they they thought they were going to quit it was a bunch of times that they felt like quitting but you know what happened they said shit had to be done if not if it was not if they did not do nothing if they didn't get up this is how this is how I know how to get to where I'm gonna go. If they didn't get up, they would not be who they are. So you have to get into a mind state. Shit has to be done. If not, nobody's gonna do it. And then third, always look at the pros and the cons of things. What's good and what's bad. Make a list of what's good and make a list of what's bad about. The decision that you make for each option, evaluate them, base them on your priorities and your values. So look, for example, if you're going to make a list about, 
you know, singing, you'll be like, uh, if you're not the best singer, you'll be like, at this moment, I'm not the best singer. But, you know, I still have hopes that I can be this. Or I still have dreams that, you know, I'm going to get this down. You know, that's like the prime. I mean, the con is, you know, you're not that good. But the pro is like you, you got the heart of a singer. You put your soul in the track. And then, you know, you just, you just elevate them. Meaning you, you go up from, you know, what you have in your daily day life that you prioritize and value. And this, this is going to, you know, help you, you know, get more fixated in the decision that you made. Now, fourth, consider your intuition. Listen to your intuition and gut feeling. But also consider any bias or fear that may be influence you, influencing your decisions. So, you know, if you are taking drugs, that could be influencing your decisions. Just know that. Or, you know, don't don't allow, you know, people who don't want to, don't want, don't, is not going to where you're going. Don't let them, you know, give you a bias, meaning that it's only one-sided. They do not believe in nothing you do until you show them. So it's like, consider your intuition as like your big homie. Nobody else can be your big homie but that intuition. All right. And like, you know, that's how you can, you know, make your mind up. Now, fifth one, seek input from others. Seek input from trusted friends. Seek input from family. Seek input from colleagues to gain a different perspective and insight. Even if somebody, you know, they don't believe in you, you can learn. Okay, that person don't believe me. Let me not waste no time over here. Not No energy. Let me just ignore them. Like, let, let me, they dead. After, like, after you find out what you need to find out, they dead. Like, they don't exist no more. Like, I ain't, I ain't wishing death upon nobody either. I'm just speaking for, you know, transformation, a.k.a. letting that shit go, a.k.a. that shit don't exist no more. But, yeah, you know, consider the perspectives and the insight that you gain from another person because this can broaden your, your some people be, cell, like, small-minded into a, a cellular, you know, block in their head. Like, they don't really be thinking outside that block. They be stuck in that block. But, so seven, I mean, no, 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 not seven. The sixth one, the sixth way to make up your mind. Take your time. Don't rush your decisions. Take the time you need to care for, carefully consider your options and weigh the consequences. Make sure, you know, my dog got to go use it. I'm going to finish this fast. So make sure, you know, if you're going to make a decision, make sure it's well analyzed and thought out. And, you know, you looked at what could happen and what, you know, can't happen. Or, you know, look at like, don't just always look at the bad, though. But you look at the bad, though, you know, so you can be aware if something bad was to happen. But, you know, also look at the, the, the positive so you can, you know, manifest that, too. But other than that, though, you know, the seventh one, consider a long-term impact. Consider the long-term impact of your decision and how it will affect your future goals and plans. So once you make your mind up and make a decision to do that, you got to you got to stand on that shit. And you know, you got to you got to actually be in your head like, "Okay, if I start now, it's going it's going to look like this like as it right now, but as I keep going, as I keep doing it every day, as I keep, I stay consistent and I stay, you know, fully like, you know, like solid in this, like anchored down in this shit, like anchor in it, you're going to see like how it will affect your future you probably be like if you're doing it right now you probably be like you know me doing this right now i feel a little tired so get get ready for the future just know it's gonna be more days you tired it's gonna be nights you want to close your eyes it's gonna be days you don't eat you have to be prepared for it so you know you have to consider the long-term impact of the decision that you're gonna make like if you if you say i'm gonna keep working every single day from this day on you gotta know it's gonna be some days that you feel like not you can't work so you got to, you got to, you know, be open to like, okay, that might be a possibility, but you can't limit yourself to just thinking that everything, everything can happen overnight. You have to actually, you know, participate with it daily. It's a daily battle that you have to, you know, win. So eight, visualize the outcome, visualize the outcome of each option of how it will make you feel. So when you visualizing, make sure you visualize the best, like, best uh, visuals that will make you, like, 
genuinely happy and like 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 a bright ass smile like like and and then and then until you cry and do that like for every you know every uh visualization session you do with yourself like visualize you making that decision making that oath and you you know it all in it all goes in your favor and do this every day not just like every two months do it every day nine make a decision once you have weighed all the options make a decision and take action so once you weigh like okay i've done that 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 this is the final piece this is the final piece then you make a decision and say okay i already made my mind up okay i'm for sure of this and then go and then don't look back after that don't look back after that and then 10 reflect on your decisions after making a decision reflect on the process and outcome of learning from that experience and improve your decision making skills so listen to improve your decision making skills that's going to be another video but i'm breaking it a little down in this video so to, pr to prove it you have to trust that you're making the right decision even if it's, it's not the right decision the more that you trust yourself the more that you're going to make the right decisions but the more that you're not trusting yourself and you feel like uh oh, i'm not going to make a decision because i feel like I, 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 it's going to be wrong either way it's wrong if you don't do nothing it's, it's wrong if you don't do nothing so like like once you, you know, put your mind to something and, you know, just look back at, you know, where you used to be and then proceed, you know, to learn from whatever experiment that you're going through. So say you is in learning. <coughs> say you is like going through an experience that it, it causes great, you know, um, decisions for you to make. So, you know, it's like spontaneous, like you don't really have the time to think. So, you know. Working at, you know, trusting yourself at times like that, you will be able to, you know, make the best decision. Even if it's like, it, it, even if it might not go well, you, you're going to make the best decision for, you know, the whole being. Like, whoever all in your little group, you're going to make the best decision for them all. Or whoever is there trusting themselves and, you know, good at, you know, uh, improving decision-making skills. So, like, if they good at making their decisions, there's a lot of people... You know, they don't get their decision-making skills because some people will do something for them. So you need to put yourself in a perspective where learn from an experience and this will have trust in yourself from that after that experience. Keep trusting yourself. Don't ever lose trust in yourself. And this is going to improve your decision-making skills. But, hey, low-key out.